I'm Lucius Moore, and I'm here standing at a sawmill that uh, was conceptualized about six years ago as a state-of-the-art uh, modern sawmill, very versatile in the products it develops and utilization of southern yellow pine and creating opportunities for small landowners as well as uh, those that own thousands of acres. plan here is to add jobs for the locals. This area is one which is underemployed and to afford just a future for people. In addition to that, we would like to be able to grow and expand here. Wonderful market, wonderful place, wonderful place to live. Yes, I'm uh, Scott Moore, uh, general manager. Well, originally, back in 2009, I've worked with my father since then. Uh, we started this project about two years ago, 2019. Started clearing the land. Uh, me, myself, my father, and my son, Christian, he also works with, with us. I guess when you ask me what this place is, or what it can be, my father's always had a dream to do this for himself. You know, that he could do it, you know, do his own meal. And he wanted to come in and, you know, do something, find a community that could he could help. It would be not just beneficial for us and our company, but also the people and the area itself. And when we came in and completely cleared all this property itself, uh, we've got the saw mill, planer mill, trim saw, and we're staged now, we're at a, at a point and a juncture where this can turn into just an unbelievable machine of growth, the potentials, it's uh, sky's the limit. Literally from, from this operation right here, from what we're looking at, I've been out here since this whole track of land was trees. I was lucky enough to be able to see them process some of this wood off of here, chip some of this and, and get it out of here. And, Spent many a countless hours, many weekends with my grandfather. I mean, we, we literally derooted this. I dug up oak stumps with an excavator and a thumb on this property right here until it was ready to be able to come in here with the asphalt, the concrete, to be able to have the contractors to come in and put up the buildings and for the water to be done and electricity to be done from, those are things that he, he asked me to do and that's, kind of where I I fit in with, hey, this needs to be fixed and uh, can you do it? And I've been, like I said earlier, I've been lucky and privileged enough to, I, I mean, really God just put me where he, he wanted me at and my granddad's been able to give me opportunities to be around men that have experience that not a lot of people my age are luckily and privileged enough to be able to learn from and be an understudy to some of these guys, even if it was for a short period of time and they've given me the experience and knowledge to be able to fix these things. God's just really blessed me and blessed my family to we're able to be at where we are now with this project. Now this mill we're looking at here, like I say, internet of owner, uh, limited, limited capital. Conservative going in and in a year or so we'll be looking at $18 million gross revenue. This mill would be capable though the mill itself of adding the dry kills, the sorting lines, and what would go with it, the adequate capital, that we could easily go to 30 million. And I, I certainly need to mention that uh, this is a three generation family. It's not just not myself. And we have worked closely through a lot of years of what I knew and have learned and pass on to my son, then there in turn to my grandson. Both are extremely excited about the business. They, they actually love the business and what they're doing. So I feel good that that knowledge will not be wasted. It can be passed on from generation to generation in the future. Understanding the difference between the software and the, the mills now compared to what my grandfather is used to, they didn't have some of the technology that we have now. It's supposed to be user friendly. Touch of a button, you can rechange the program, you can add to the program, you can add this line into the program. And I mean, I've been lucky en enough to be in mills and see where understanding the, the whole concept of, of lumber and how all this works, but then also being able to bring to the table the understanding of the technology that we've been able to adapt in mills over the years to make it more user-friendly, to be able to 
put lumber to the market faster to be able to to adapt and overcome and and this whole process of where we started at till now is uh, I think it's really a testament to my grandfather's knowledge. We're excited to have the Moore family as an addition to the Walsh Manufacturing Sustainable Green Team family. I've been in the industry for 35 years and Lucius has been a part of that for that entire 35 years. The great thing about Lucius is he has a vast knowledge of all facets of the industry. Everything ranging from co-products, remanufacturing, engineering, installation of equipment, procurement, He's an all-around guy with a wealth of experience. And the, the thing about it that, that's, that's, that's most impressive is he's also a man of integrity. A good Christian man, uh, his word is his bond, and he's always been that way. The great thing about it as well is that he's instilled that to his son and his grandson. And so that has taken to a, a second and third generation. It's very exciting to have. And with the addition of, it gives Mulch Manufacturing and Sustainable Green Team more products to put in our basket. They'll be creating products that, that, that we can integrate into our system right away. They'll be making pine bark, pine shavings, pine dust, pine chips, pine lumber. All those products we are currently using and have markets for. And we're really excited about all the opportunities that it brings to the table with a management team that's got knowledge, experience, and again, I, uh, I can't say enough about the, the family and the wealth of experience that they have. Yeah, so what an exciting opportunity uh, with the Sustainable Green Team and their subsidiaries. Our newest addition is got me really excited. Not only are we adding this incredible mill into our organization that's been designed in a way that some haven't seen before. Adding assets to the company is one thing, but the real asset is the people. And having Lucius Moore and his family and the decades of experience that he brings to the table, you know, he's been designing mills, working together with big corporations like Langdale. He's been all over the world, Japan. He's been all over Norway. And people use his expertise to build these mills so they don't make that mistake in their investment. And so adding them into our organization is just another myth and a legend into the Sustainable Green Team. We're excited about that. Not just the fact that we're bringing a new team together that's built this incredible mill, and they built it in the right time. We're at the right place at the right time, ready to produce more products. And one of our subsidiaries, Mulch Manufacturing, never manufactured bark from the start process. It always purchased its bark from mills. And so now this new mill, yeah, we're gonna be able to produce thousand or so more loads of uh, bark that we'll have into our business. And bark, if you know anything about it, it's big. It's a big business and there's a great need for it. And with us adding optimization to our other mill and us looking at other mills, having experts on board to be able to help us see around the curve and not make the same mistakes that others have made is gonna put us in a place of profitability and to be able to produce a lot more fiber and lumber and a sustainable solution within our industry where there's a great need. So us having a high production mill that's capable of cutting 30, 40, 50 million board feet a year, that's incredible in a market that uh, there is an incredible need for lumber. But more importantly for us is the sustainable side is creating a product that there's a great need, a byproduct that we need like bark, wood chips, certified playground chips, and all the other things that this market needs we're able to manufacture them ourselves right here on this 45 acre facility. We're excited to see what's going to happen. When you talk about sustainable green team, uh, it, it's very exciting to be a part of it, to be able to have the opportunity to become a part of that because it's always been my father's belief is everything that we should do is even, you know, we're taking logs in, cutting lumber, uh, but the land is very important, the environment. Everything is always, you know, environment first. We will do everything the right way. And it's just, it's like a match, match made in heaven. Good Lord put us together, very exciting.